We look at research as an inquiry-based learning process or a self-taught situation. And I think when students start looking for answers to questions that they have on their own, you know, I think that is one of the most powerful things we have in the country today is to inspire them to learn. And this design challenge, I think, uh, will inspire them to see, you know, just how large of a problem is this radiation. This is a real world problem. And I think if students can, can see how they can make a contribution, how they maybe can identify a STEM career, you know, a research or a career, something that, that they would be interested in and following, you know, while in high school and, and on to college and maybe after college, and to maybe spend their life trying to work on some of these problems, I think is very fascinating. So I think, I think this is just so important for students to be able to learn, to grow, to develop, and to really find a life for themselves. We're moving your education to a different level. And especially if you're gonna study STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And, and mathematics is on the end, but it really should be at the front. Because everything that we do in science, and engineering, and technology, you know, everything is based on mathematics. And so, the preparation phase in high school should be take all the math you can, do the best you can in it, and, and, and don't sidestep an opportunity to, to take the chemistry and the physics. And that's why this design challenge, I think, is so important because it's going to move our high school students into, you know, what fundamental concepts do I know, you know, and how am I going to apply these to this problem with radiation.